much too far. I'm going to need the um, screw gun again. You want the nails too? No. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to need the speed square, the orange speed square. Uh, all right. Yep. That back down here and then um, all right what we're doing here is we've already been to Home Depot and picked up the fencing material uh, we picked up uh, some mulch to put around along the foundation wall on the other side uh, we're ready to go we're uh, gonna start here work our way around hopefully we're gonna get this done this afternoon and uh, tomorrow is supposed to be two inches of rain and some heavy winds coming. So, looking to get this done. Again, I got Jake the Fox here. I think he just sprayed himself with some water so it looks like he's perspiring a little bit, but we know how that is. Grab that nail gun for me. Yep. Watch the rope on it, the line on it. This way here. Uh, flip it over top of that post where you're at so we get a little bit more perfect all right we wanted them on that in there pulse of work man You can stay on that side. Okay. So I need you to take your hands and squeeze these together. Right there. Watch your face. Close your eyes. All right. Good. All right. Take that down here, bud. You can put them right on top of the septic tank. Yep. Put this on there with it. All right. Jeez. 
Jesus, I'm gonna die in that hole. We gotta relocate you. Let's see what we got here. Right there. Uh, where's the line at? Is it above or below? Might be above. It's even with this. All right. So your top has to be flush with this. Okay. All right. Take it. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, a little long. All right. Let's see. Uh, you're in, right? Yeah, man. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to. Yeah, you got to find it. All right, pull it out. Put that one down. Grab the other one. Let's see if the other one's going to need it. That's going to need a tow. Yeah. All right. Take them both back. You got it? Yep. Let them go. You in? Yeah, I'm in. Okay, you're in. Come on off the porch here. Let me uh, show you what I did so far today. While you were sitting there enjoying the hummingbirds and the feeder. All right. Ten bags of mulch. Obviously not enough. I'm going to make another run to uh, Home Depot. Uh, maybe tomorrow morning. Or well, I doubt if it's tonight. There won't be no way it's tonight. But probably tomorrow morning. So the mulch is starting to look good. I need about another 15 bags, I guess, to get all the way around there to the uh, where the fence is going to be. But the rails are all up on the fence. We need to uh, start putting the fencing in itself. Uh, I have uh, a couple pieces of four foot for where it comes off of the house, and then the rest is all three foot fencing. So I'm pretty happy with uh, the way it looks. Hopefully, uh, Krabby will be up here more often with the dogs, and it'll get used. So it's looking pretty good. Got to go around and nail the uh, inside parts of the fence. But not bad. I had to skirt around the uh, septic tanks. And they had a couple of spots where there were huge, huge boulders we couldn't uh, we couldn't dig there. So now I'm going to get Jake the fox Some after lunch. lunch. I got to feed him lunch because you know he's been sitting there waiting for it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to get him to uh, get the wheelbarrow and take a bunch of these rocks here, right there, and make a little wall over there off the post where the gate's going to be. Okay. And then uh, 
by that time we'll be well, we've eating lunch first obviously then we're going to do that and while he's doing that i'm going to get it set up for the fencing so got to get a lot done got a lot of rain coming tomorrow lots and lots of rain uh i grade two inches and my son who's in hershey uh they were told they were getting five inches of rain so let's see what happens here it's looking pretty good got a nice little trash pile going what do you got to say for yourself here jacob a lot of work man oh, wow <laughs> Wish we, at least we're, we're getting it done now, so that's 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 the main goal. Yeah. So, yeah, the dogs will have a nice place. Uh, I guess they probably trip over that piece I asked you to move, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah I'll get probably. That. Yeah. yeah I'll get that. The dogs will trip over that. Mm -hmm. Trying to hurt my dogs? No. 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 All right. Just missed that one. Okay. All right. We're going to eat lunch. Get a couple bottles of water in us because the uh, sun is out nice and bright again. We'll check back. Well, we thought we'd be finished by this time, but uh, we ran into a problem with the uh, pneumatic stapler. Uh, using galvanized staples, we thing uh, just quit working on us. We spent way too much time tinkering with it, trying to get it going. Uh, we're all the way around here to where we need to make the gate and put the forefoot sections up. Uh, I said we don't have we don't have the stapler the pneumatic stapler I have a regular one um, that we use temporarily and I'm going to have to uh, run out and buy a new one so that I could tighten all this fence up it's not looking horrible and uh, one of the posts was uh, it was pretty soft so Jake the Fox redug it on this side and uh, we filled it pretty good with concrete. And then also Jake started a nice little retaining wall there. It's looking good. It's working hard. And if that wasn't just everything, I dropped my GoPro. And fortunately, they have lens protectors on them, but I scratched the lens protector right in the center. So uh, there'll be a big ding right in the center. I'm going to have to uh, switch out to the, uh, the other GoPro that I have and uh, see if I could take that lens protector off and order a new one. But working our asses off. It's getting close to quitting time. Yep. It's... Uh, we're hurting, but uh, just trying to get it knocked out. I said anywhere from two to five inches of rain tomorrow, so we won't be out here doing any work. But get these last two sections up. We're gonna try to figure out how we can get this pneumatic stapler to work. We can get it done. We'll check back. Well, this was a long day here. Interrupted with some tool malfunctions. But uh, the heat getting to us again it's seven o'clock at night <clears throat> I just finished covering up the gate over there and uh, I'm gonna let the post set until the next time I come up because uh, there's a lot of rain coming and uh, there's still a little there concrete isn't totally set yet we also dug this one out this was really soft uh, we re dug this one and uh, added another half a bag of concrete to it but for the most part now, the dogs can come up. Uh, I need to go out and buy a new nailer or staple gun, uh, something that fires three quarter inch staples so that I can uh, tighten this fence up. And then at that time, I'll cut the, uh, cut the posts. So I'll give it a few days. It should, uh, should be pretty good. All in all, I mean, it's not perfect, but it's mine. And uh, just like all my projects, it's almost finished. So now I'm going to go in, get a shower, and you know what I'm going to eat? A nice ribeye, because I'm in the mountains. We'll see what happens here.
It's been raining most of the night, so I wanted to see uh, how much we end up actually getting. So it shows that we have um, a half an inch of rain so far for the month, and 30.9 or 0 0.9 uh, so far for the year. So let's see what happens out there. I have to get a ladder out now because the rain gutters are uh, must be clogged. So I have to clean that real quick. Hey, here we go for day three. And man, it's pouring out here. Jake the Fox was not happy nope. that we had to grab a ladder and clean out the rain gutters. They were overflowing. They were all bummed up, yep. full of leaves. And uh, he said, man, you're crazy working in the rain. I said, we're only going to be yep. out here for two minutes. But we got soaked. So what do you got for us today, Jake the Fox? It's it's absolutely rain out here. Uh, yeah, be safe, guys, because it's, this is bad weather up here. Well, so far, we got an inch of rain since it started. Uh, it started sometime, I don't know, about 3 o'clock in the morning or so. And uh, we just ran out to the hardware store. We're going to uh, take the toilet off and start working on and the vanity out of the bathroom so we can start working on this bathroom floor to keep Krabby from uh, complaining anymore about it. I didn't say she was complaining. Jake the Fox said that Krabby was no. complaining. So I'm just repeating what he said. If you're listening, Krabby, uh, that's what happened. I'm telling the truth. So anyway, here we are. Uh, we're going to uh, take care of this bathroom. We'll check back in a little bit. What do you got there, Jacob? Let's let's get this started. Okay. You know what goes towards the TV? Okay. Keep going. Keep going. Right there. I know that we're going to need a scrap piece soon. Alright. Um, so that I, when I'm cutting them, you know what I. Yeah, give it a scrap piece. Okay, that we're gonna lean on that. Is that there? Oh. So these are all full pieces from here on out. This way. You got to back up a little bit, bud. Okay. You know what I'm thinking? Lunch time. Because I didn't realize that I had to give you pee breaks, too. You're going to have to use that before I disconnect it. All right. But we're almost done. Almost done. A lot of hard work here, man. We're getting oh. there, though. <laughs> Guy thinks he gets pee breaks. I can't go out and cook Jacob's lunch, or as I call him, Jacob, Jake the Fox. His real name's Phil, in case you didn't know. I'm going to cook him a couple of hot dogs. Me, I'm getting a couple of pieces of kibasi. That's a nice. Uh, Potato rolls, can't use that because it's leaking and I called for service and I still have not gotten a call back, but that may be because of all the rain. So let's go, uh, let's go check the water out there, see how bad it is. 
started off the day when I woke up that the uh, drain spouts were all clogged. So we ran out there this morning, got ourselves soaking wet. But look at that, they're working flawlessly now. Lots of water coming off the road. We need to get that swale finished so that uh, the water runs down there past the firewood and down into the pit. There's lots of water down there. The uh, fire pit is full, as I can see. How are we doing down here? Lots and lots of water. The water's coming down so hard, it's a, a good portion of it's missing the opening in the pipe that's coming down so hard. But it's, uh, I'm not running down there and getting soaked. Both sides overflowing. Hmm. Right. This is Hurricane Ida. White Haven, Pennsylvania edition. All right, I'm cooking your lunch. Right. Relax. Good. Good. Well, Krabby is sure going to be happy because she's asked a hundred times to have that floor put in. Now all we need to do is figure out what color finish paint we're going to have and then put the trim in. It's all in place. Took the vanity out, did underneath the vanity. Made all the new connections. Toilet out, put back in. It's looking good. Let's hope Krabby's happy. I'm sure she will be. See that right there? That's where Jake the Fox whacked his noggin. There was actually hair stuck to it. Fortunately, it didn't get cut. I'd have had to dock his pay. Look how bad that guy looks. Look at that. Jeez. Looking bad. Huh? Oh, look. Jason oh. Fox is still sitting there watching TV while I'm working over here. Yeah. They're caught again. What a day. What a wet day. Just took Jake the Fox home. And, uh, this is stuff that was laying on the floor in the bunk room that tomorrow I'll go through everything or actually I might do a little bit more of it tonight uh, after I sit down and have a cold beer. But we managed also to uh, get the TV up. I need to get some kind of a shelf so I could put a uh, DVD player below it. I think I'm getting six stations one problem is I'm not getting the grit channel. So the bathroom floor, I think it came out great. Trying to get the light here for you. There you go, there's the light. I think the floor looks great. Still have to put the last of the stuff away, the wet towels and all that good stuff. Uh, shower curtain that used to be the bathroom door. Managed to uh, get this bunk room straightened up a little bit. All this will be gone tomorrow. The paint sprayer is going back to uh, my friend Keith that lent it to me. And the uh, table saw is going out into the white trailer. The good wood, the uh, clear uh, pine that's in there is going to go up in the loft on the other side. Nobody's going to be sleeping up there. It's just going to be storage uh, for now. And the paint and stuff there is uh, for when uh, um, Phil comes back and uh, touches up all the uh, all the spackle. It has to be uh, has to be touched up. So I have a curtain, or not a curtain, but uh, wooden blinds that have to be put up there. And uh, the floor needs a good cleaning. But. Most of the tools are out of here. I just realized there's some there that I need to pick up. But I'm going to sit down here now and have a cold beer and worry about all this stuff.
tomorrow. I need to, uh, this door's all swelled up here. I have a difficult time closing that. I'll have to take care of that door. But, it's already lost power once. I believe we're at four inches of rain so far. at exactly four inches we're just now starting to get some wind uh, it's reading eight mile an hour but i don't get an actual uh a really good reading for the wind because it's below the trees all those trees are blocking it but as i see it's barely spinning out there Let's see if we could take a look at the pond pond is full Lots of water, not too bad here. And here, fortunately, we were able to clean those gutters out and got the water, uh, for the most part, getting away from the, from the cabin. But let's see what happens here. Had a uh, good friend just send me a message. Uh, sending, you know, there's some warnings uh, for this area, so I'm going to uh, keep my phone charged up, got the laptop charged up, so if I have to, I'll sit here in the dark and edit video or something. Hopefully I get to cook my dinner first. I'll check back. Yeah, right. Right and early, getting it done. Oh man, oh man, oh man, look at this. Oh shit, Jacob. Yeah. Um. All right, look at this rig. Jake the Fox. Getting ready to haul some debris for me. Look at this dump trailer. Full power, nice. This guy's a workhorse. Eats like one too though. Oh, I guess I have to help him. He's been helping me. All right, there he is. Got the cart all loaded up. I wanted to put bungee cords on it, but he said, no, I'm not going to need them. I'm not going that far. It'll be good. I hope it's good. But uh, that is quite the rig there, man. Yep. All right, bud. All right. I appreciate all your hard work. No problem. Thank you very much. Yep. I'll talk to you. Sounds good. See you. Take yep. your time. There he goes. Worked hard the last four days for me. Up the hill he goes. I guess it's time to do the yearly tour. Beautiful sunny day out here. Lots and lots of work done. I need to, uh, next trip, I'm gonna level off that white trailer. I got all the blocks there and jack stands. Take care of that. Obviously this year's new thing is the cabin. And this weekend we put up a fence. Uh, I still have to cut the post. I'm letting them set a little bit more before I get at them with the uh, sawzall. But uh, got mason jar lights hanging from them. Hopefully that'll look good. We'll see what that looks like tonight. And I got the Krabby Bell out there. Thank you, Al and Krista. Let me get this all cut down. I got to work on that pile of rocks there. I'm going to get rid of uh, get rid of the little bit of grass that's in there. 
and just have it all stone. Cleaned out the shed. Hunting and fishing gear all going in there. And really didn't do any work to the pond this year. Have a leak that I talk about every time I'm up here. Haven't had a chance to get it fixed yet. And when I did, I got attacked by the wasps. Well, put up the bat house. Clean the tool shed. Got everything out of the uh, everything out of the cabin and put back in here. So everything that we use often is right there in the front, and things that we don't use so much are in the back. I got some wood here to uh, and jack stands and blocks. We're going to level this off. No, I don't think I'm going to need that many blocks, but that's what I had. And this will be a good place to store them back there. We'll go around and check out the front. Also this weekend, we built a little retaining wall. Started putting mulch in. I need about another uh, 15 bags to finish this off. We moved the uh, firewood this year up in there, much better. And the new addition is the uh, Camp Chef griddle. That's new this year. I just used it to make some hamburgers and hot dogs for me and uh, Jacob. The burning the scrap wood up. And let's check out the inside. Getting some decorations too going. We got the uh, big lantern there. It was a gift from uh, Krabby's friend, Rita. And we got some skis from Dan. We got an old flyer uh, sled that we picked up at an antique shop. I'm looking for some uh, old wooden snowshoes. Anybody happens to know where they can find a set. Something that's uh, trash and can just be left outside. Oh. Krabby's going to see this and hopefully I uh, don't get in trouble because the place isn't all cleaned up yet. But what did we do in here? We um, put the TV up this weekend. And uh, I'm going to be in trouble for sure because there's our pillows on the floor. Uh, we got the TV up. And the knobs on the doors. Uh, for the uh, for the cabinets Finally got situated with uh, CMR building supply in Philadelphia and uh, wolf cabinets um, What an ordeal almost uh, four complete sets of cabinet doors bathroom floor in and the bathroom needs trim and finished paint she has to make a decision. Unless she leaves it white. I would not complain if it was staying white. But the uh, cabinet doors have all been replaced. Some four times. Uh, I used this here on the end. That was a uh, door for the uh, Lazy Susan. The holes were drilled wrong on it. I would manage to make an end panel out of it. Don't look too bad. Dresses it up a little bit. Uh, we have one more shelf to put up right there, but I have to wait for Krabby to get here so uh, we can do that. It's the same as these drawer fronts. I'm not putting the uh, putting the knob where I think I want it. It's going to go where she wants it. Bedroom, bunk room, all cleaned up. Sweat. Got the uh, painting supplies still here. Uh, Phil's going to come back and uh, touch up the stucco. And that's the extra paint for it. But uh, got the blind there to put up. But if I get an extra person or two for uh, hunting season, or if we can have a guy's weekend, 
Uh, this will be a room somebody could sleep in. They'll just have to use air mattresses. What we've started calling Wes's bedroom. Looking good. See all that stuff there? That's all things that Krabby wants to hang on the walls. Still. Hopefully we'll get Wes up here again soon. That's a tour. Deer Camp 2021. Pretty happy with the way it's coming out. And uh, hopefully this year we could uh, get a couple of hunters here and we get our first real deer. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. Subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, tell your friends about it. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.